Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. So look, man, it's looking like we got some leaked information from a 2K dev about the city, guys. They are going full out G dial. How them guys be role playing, having a job in GT, wasting their life, their time, no content, right? They, they not even streamers or creators, right? They have a job on a video game. This is what they do in their life, bro. Instead of getting the job in real life, they do it on the video game, right? This is what they are saying is coming to 2k25 man we're gonna be able to eat cheeseburger jake's ranking system we're gonna really have to walk everywhere and really so we're, we're gonna go over this from what this dev is saying look i got a comment right about it so these are gonna be my first reactions to this information before we get into any of that y'all make sure y'all like up the video man help me get 500 likes on this video man in 24 hours so we got 2k dev demi man he's he's basically the new annoying tv guys if you know a really decent rollout i can say okay. of 2k25 information so again there's a lot to be okay. excited about in the upcoming weeks but is the fact that uh -huh. it says that it's going to be a more compact city and a lot that? of people glazed over or i want was that is that even the word or browsed over no browse you read people just bypass the fact when it said interactive city y'all hear that now look it's known that the community hates the city the community don't want the city and they hate the interaction but look look at the direction they're going pay attention the compact aspect for me i don't really care right because Why? all i really care about is just the latency lag so so that that means you care people who say they don't care about the the city they they just don't understand the game the city guys it adds more latency to the game so that means if you care about latency you care about the city being in the game 2k can't handle there being a city in the game that means you care about the city guys that means you care about it guys we walk around the city and you're lagging you're spiking you can barely move at times if you switch builds you're lagging you're spiking all year guys the, the latency tremendous would the latency have been as bad because you cross play added latency also right would the latency have been as bad if they didn't have the city if you can't handle it take it out the game so your users can have a better experience guys that means everyone in the community is against the city but a lot of y'all don't have the knowledge do the knowledge <laughs> Do the knowledge but it's like come on i just want to hoop i don't care about all this and that keep that for the my career guys just let us be able to hoop efficiently and quickly y'all know about that you're in the city and you're running and you know you're lagging and you can't <laughs> no. even make it from the tunnel <laughs> to, to spin your wheel right we all been there we all <laughs> they gonna get you diddy all right <laughs> hey they they gonna get you you should have said that boy they gonna they gonna dock your pay for that my boy <laughs> i've done that and that's been a frustrating aspect yeah now again if you imagine guys guys people don't understand bro imagine not everyone has time right i'm very busy bro i play as much as a casual i'm very busy when i get on i want to play but i have to walk when i'm switching builds i have to go all the way get my hot spots the damn gatorade all this and that do my workouts every week and it's corny bro and you gotta do it for every build in lag right and then say you want to test your moves in lag you're dealing with all this nonsense before you even play you wasted 30 35 minutes 40 minutes it's corny bro it's an issue get it done if you cut off your crossplay right you didn't have that <laughs> so i know crossplay is something that definitely needs to be worked on you did still have it in crossplay but there's four, way less people in crossplay so you probably had a somewhat different experience but that's only because there's way less people on and um it seems like it's something that was of importance and should be a lot better this year for 25 but again oh, leagues have to wait and see click, 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 but click, click again the city as far as how big it really didn't matter because all you had to do is go, i was just going to subway do what i got to do and if you are That's a park mine. player you know my character always when i load it up i would be walking from the steps right into rise so i never really had to worry about how big the city was and that type of why didn't you have to worry about that you just said it bro imagine if you want to go buy clothes you have to fight through the lag right imagine if you want to go to the theater you have to fight through the lag the stage you have to fight through the lag the wreck fight through the lag a different court fight through the lag you gotta go get your hot spots fight through the lag the chris berkeley fight through the lag and you have to do this on all these builds guys the do the knowledge a lot of people just don't understand what they're doing they're just going through the motions but since, i don't know maybe people don't have responsibilities in life or time quenching they, they just don't understand the all the tedious stuff you're going through that really takes away from your experience man do the knowledge and you gotta go to the my career and you're fighting through the lag a lot of the time. Then you gotta go do your 
your drills for the, the Gatorade for all your different builds. You're fighting through life. It, it is an issue. So I don't, I don't get people. The only time it really was something is when I had to go get my, even my Lethal Hot Zones or back when I was yeah. getting my Gatorade, I'll still go straight from the subway. I'll get up. Yes, it was a nice little run. I wouldn't say nice run, but it was a decent little run or whatever you did to get to the facility or whatever you want to go to. But at the end of the day, for me, I didn't, I didn't really care about it about that much outside of just the lag. So for me, that's just, I know some of y'all want a small city. Hell, I know a lot of y'all would just want to just load Most up and play, people. which I think that's what the theater is for, but I get it. We can't just load up and play because we have to do these things to maximize our abilities or we're going to be at a disadvantage. You feel me? Y'all got to stop with this marketing tactic trying to get these God of War story mode players. Cater to your audience, man. You feel me? I know y'all can agree, man. They don't foot us. And I mean, it's like that's a battle that's just... It is what it is. I'm saying, but the one that I want to talk about is the fact where it says interactive city. Now, we all know, for the most part, everybody on that city, in that city, outside of the users and in the side quests, are just a bunch of random things are just walking around. It's not it's yeah. not very interactive. Lagging up the game. Get, it's just the things. It's just not like you can walk up oh. to the vending machine and you put some change in and some money comes out. All right. Bro, bro. He's saying, if if it sound like what he's saying, bro, bro, is he saying to buy VC, we're going to have to go to a vending machine? <laughs> yo, yo. Bro, if they take VC out the menu to make us go to a bank like they do on GTA and all that, I don't know if they do that on GTA, but they probably do. Oh my God, bro. If that's not being in touch with your community, I don't know what, bro. That is it. Yo, bro, this is why I say, bro, don't be praising 2K, bro. You have to really, you got to go in, dog, because they can do stuff like this. And then three years later, they finally switch it back. But it's like, bro, imagine, guys. Oh, my God. The drink comes out, right? It's not like if there was a bird, you walked over to the bird and you get what I'm saying. It's not an interactive city. It's just when it comes out or a drink comes out, right? Drink it's not out. like if there was a bird, you walked over. We're going to be able to buy drinks. Click, 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 click. Not just Gatorade. We gonna have uh, drinks for uh, dunking, things of that nature. Now let me know how y'all feel about it. To the bird, and you get what I'm saying. It's not an interactive city. It's just is what it is. There's buildings that are just literally just stock buildings. You just walk by uh -huh. and you can't go inside. Like uh, once you do go inside, it's not like you're really interacting unless there's a side quest, correct? So let's just keep this in mind. So what if y'all hear how he's bracing us? <laughs> master's degree, <laughs> yo, master's degree. <laughs> now you are in the city and. If you want to get your Gatorade boost, then instead of getting the Gatorade boost, you actually have to go physically. You'll go ahead and get a get a shake. If that's not out of touch, my guy. Now look, you guys take it. Other gaming communities, they don't accept stuff like this. He's saying, y'all know when you press start, guys. Hold on, let me let me show you, bro. Let me show you. Bro. Let me show you, man. Look, look. Here, here's what he's saying. You press start, right, guys? And you go to your skill boost, quick right there easy right here buy it right here he's saying there take this out and you have to go go in the city <laughs> and you have to buy it come on man th th this is who's representing the the community guys come on dog come on bro who really want that who you know what i'm saying um go to one of the little convenience stores and get some food real quick to get energize some food you see what i'm saying Hey, hey, we gonna be able to buy food to energize us, man, because we're not a top zero. We're not a top point zero zero one percent athlete with just so much stamina. And, um, you know, we have a, just low stamina and we get asthma. And now we're not going to be able to, you know, get through the, to function, to run or, or do anything or play the game unless we go eat with our friends. Um, That type of interaction, you know, like is next because, you know, GTA is a two game. And there's a lot of elements that they can easily cross over to where your player can get more of that interactive lifestyle outside of the city. <laughs> I'm I, I'm the type of person I want to hoop, but outside of the city. So is there going to be an area outside of the city to do all this? Maybe they let us. I doubt it, man. Man, this is crazy news. Y'all gotta. But I'm not gonna lie. If there was more things interactive that I could do. I think that's what one of the big appealing things for GTA is so open world. So yeah. if the city is more interactive or AKA more open world to where there is a lot of things you can do. Now I'm not trying to say we should be sitting there and be running away from the- He's saying that he would go be interactive, man. Come on, man. 
man. Demi, you know we play to get the views, dog. We don't care about that, bro. We're not gonna do that if it's not pulling no views. Cops and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, some crazy. Just let the imagination open up a little bit and you ask yourself, what are some things that you would like to see in a city interactive? No. If you're thinking more GTA, not it. on the violent side, but things Ooh. that you could do in let it be an option. Let us play. Don't force us. That's the problem with y'all, man. We we don't want to be forced. You know, like let stuff get some cool items and clothes and things like that. But don't force us just to be at our optimal us. You know, y'all feel my tripping, man. Maybe y'all got too much time on your hands, bro. When you get a bit and you really trying to make it in this world and money, bro, work out, eat healthy. You got to cook, bro. You don't don't want to. I mean, some people just want to play and just beat people down <laughs> and talk trash. I don't I don't have all that time on my hands, bro. GTA far as like driving vehicles move around the city um actually being able to see like you know the people when you bump into them they're like hey man what you doing you know like just that Whole lag way imagine imagine you could bump into man 2k can't that they servers are trash bro and they won't upgrade them you can't do stuff like this with the servers y'all might say I'm, bro i'm i'm not i'm not negative guys i'm telling you this all comes from a positive mind state i'm just telling you directly how i feel right and i'm usually always right with this 2k and i can really predict the future i'm not i'm not i'm just real you know there's a lot of double twisters out there on their knees trying to max out their glue hands badge because they're hearing it's going to be a great badge in 2k25 that's not me my boy i'm just an honest blunt individual man so you know making it more interactive every single building you can go into every single building you go into there's a purpose behind it you can make purchases of things not just walking into um a store and your your player just stands there still and clothes just kind of switch off and on them right like you're actually physically in there trying on different clothes and you know that damn have to instead of just getting your clothes and swags you're gonna have to go in that hole grab it put it on button it up zip it up hit them <laughs> Yo, what did they do to the game I love, bro? I'm getting too old for this, bro. <laughs> I might have to go get it a nine to five. Oh my God. <laughs> I might need to go to indeed.com, bro. Oh my God, bro. What are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing, bro? That type of deal, like just oh interactive. So I see interactive in a 2K, they're not just putting things in there just to, um, everything they're putting is yes, strategic, yeah. right? They strategically put more compact city because that's what people want. People obviously want a Yes, they're appealing to what you want. It's just to get you enticed, but that don't mean it's always going to come out the way it's say. More interactive city. That's why I was put in there. So now the question is, what are the things that are going to be more interactive in the city? So that's what I want to ask y'all in the comment section. Y'all let y'all imagination run wild. Let's go ahead and get the juices churning a little bit. What are some things currently in the city that you're like, yo, I wish I could interact with that. Like for instance, the beach, right? What if you could go in there and swim? I know this is getting crazy, but understand it's like, if we're in the city, let us do city oh things. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, let me and the fellas meet up and then we, we go into, we, you know, we, we hooping, but then after that, we know we stopping by and we, you know, we, we going to get some wings or something. You know what I'm saying? Bro, do y'all hear this, bro? Do you want to go get wings with your home and lag? You want to look at textures on the wing and eat with your my player instead of eating in real life we're hoopers forged from war it's that goddamn community i blame y'all you know what i'm talking about a city no one wants to see we just want to hoop doesn't make us excited look come on uncle demi look there would be no lag if there was no city nba live had the blueprint on moses guys if you if you go bro look i'm i'm so demi an industry plant for show he was guys i'm telling you everything he told me bro i used to play with him before he was in his position and stuff right everything now is things he used to tell me he wished 2k was back then it's really crazy like like this the damn music industry like was really in this i mean i don't know if true or not but bro it, it, it's just crazy bro how this happened i think there's some other uh industry plants too man i ain't gonna hold you and it become that sim community <laughs> look all negative comments and all these guys are negative win percents look no one likes this you feel me guys but there are youtubers out there double twisting saying only comp and talented people have issues with 2k when most casuals have issues with 2k look look at all the negativity look 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 uncle demi has been compromised guys look just read it bro read it read it read it bro this is what i be bro i be telling y'all <sighs> now look hank made an excellent tweet hank is great at a lot of video games right like top tier like <laughs> turning and stuff so he really knows how games works for casuals and 
and all that man but he says can we get a proper rank mode for nba 2k25 with skill-based matchmaking and rewards you for actually grinding the game been asking for this for years now some people think for some reason that a ranking system is just for comp people and sweats no it's for casuals also a skill gap is for casuals also they think they don't want a skill gap but then they 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 see that uh, what's the point in playing with life there has to be some type of difficulty and like you're building up makes you more willing to play but look look at this ranking system what they have now is horrible right there are like horrible rec players are like purple no they they are terrible at the game like if they go to the park with a team you'll you'll easily see that they're just not they don't have no stick skill they would have a negative win percent or like a 60 so they shouldn't be at the top you feel me it's it's just way too easy to get you could basically have purple with damn near negative win percent that's horrible guys. and then it doesn't change based off who you beat but look um this is what is this I don't know what game this is but you know you got the bronze the silver gold the platinum diamond elite and you know the rep list that's just time played look look at all this skill tier this is cool i don't know if it's done properly but um this is dope like 2k should do something like this it will it will it will bring more life to the game but it's bro they, they make too much money to not have things like this like on this these levels you feel me this bronze silver i don't know how good this is executed but it should be definitely stuff like this and even if oh it's gonna be taken over by cheaters and stuff right but guess what that gives 2k a blueprint on who to ban you could just investigate those players that are at the top and then you could get them out the game just console ban them bam you know it just are gonna cheat the ranking system don't mean you don't have a ranking system that's life guys it's life everyone tries to cheat the ranking system in anything in life and on every video game you handle it your job feel me look at this you got the ranks stuff like this this is cool bro you feel me and look we got ronnie teasing ronnie james official rate y'all drop it down below what y'all think his rating will be rookies ratings huh? ronnie james is shooting who is that Shaq? Shaq gonna be involved this foo foo boy man Hey man, y'all go watch my last video. Click the video on the screen. If you want to see some more 2K25 confirmations from more uh 2K insiders, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.